Do you know what the 180 degrees rule is in video and filmmaking? Let's talk about it. The 180 degrees rule is a rule that is made up of an imaginary straight line between two or more subjects in a scene and the camera should remain on only one side of this line. This helps the audience to understand the space and distance between the two characters and it stops them from getting confused and disorientated. What would happen if this 180 degrees rule was broken? Well, like I said, the audience would get confused because it would seem like one of the characters or one of the subjects is suddenly facing the opposite direction. By the way, if you are new here and interested in videos like this related to videography or content creation in general, like social media, then don't forget to click the subscribe button just below so you can keep learning with me. Let's look at some examples. If there are two characters having a conversation and you follow the 180 degrees rule, you could start off by using a kind of wide establishing shot just to show where the two characters are in relation to each other and their surroundings. Then you could move on to a single closer up shot of each character and for one character it would seem like they are looking slightly off to the left and for the other character it will seem like they are looking slightly off to the right. This will make it appear like they are facing each other, facing opposite each other and having a conversation just like we do in real life. If the 180 degrees rule was broken and the camera crossed this imaginary line, it would seem like both characters are facing the same way and make it seem like they are placed next to each other rather than opposite. You could also use some of the other framing and composition rules that we have spoke about, such as lead room or look room. So if you've got one character that is looking slightly to the right, make sure to position them on the correct side of the frame and vice versa for the character look into the other way, position them on the other side of the frame. This means that each character will always have a little bit of look room and you can imagine that just behind the empty space of the frame would be the other character that they are speaking to. Even though this is the 180 degrees rule, just like most other rules in filmmaking or in life in general, they are often broken. But in filmmaking you should at least know why you are breaking this rule. You should at least know the basics of the rule at first and then choose to break it for a stylistic choice. For example, if you want the film to come across as kind of chaotic and disorientating, then break the rule. It might be working for your film. But if it's just a quite normal, calm, conversational scene, you want to try and stick to the 180 degrees rule. All right, well, that's all for day 26 of the 30 day no film school challenge. The next few days, I will be writing a script and filming my very own short mini micro movie. So stay tuned for that. Click the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment below what are your thoughts on the 180 degrees rule. Have you been using this? Have you been breaking the rule? Let me know. I'll speak to you next time. Bye!